Hello everybody. Today I would like to show how we can model the propeller of a ship quite easily. I start in front view <coughs> and draw out a square. Six hundred by forty. Then I select this edge here, hit the set key, bring it out to here, hit the R key and make this bigger. Yeah, 250%, that's good. Hit the set key again and bring this in to about here. You see here is the center of the world and I'm off center. Now I select this, go to perspective view and Uh, rotate this about 40 minus 45 degrees. Drop the tool. Now the fun part comes. I use radial sweep uh, with a count of five and angle about. 60 degrees offset we will see action center is origin click in the viewport that's not the way I want to have it I want to have it around the Y okay then offset mm, maybe 400 millimeters. Yes, that looks good. Drop the tool. Escape so we get rid of the helix generator. <coughs> and now I select these polygons here. Arch align the work plane to this selection and go to the top view then I take a radial fall off bring it out from the middle here with the control key pressed then hit the W key and bend this a bit more drop the tool get rid of the fall off reset the work plane and let's see what we got. Yeah, that looks quite nice. So I take these polygons away. Let me get rid of the grid. First I must straighten these ends here. So I go to the lists tab, check where uh, the Y position of this word, select all these four words here, go to vertex, set position, control V in the Y and do the same down here. Find the lowest one this one, it's control copy, escape, then select these words and set position, control V and now we should be good, yes, <coughs> top view again deselect everything, then duplicate radial array and 
action center origin click in the viewport but we only need five like so perspective good drop the tool drop the helix generator and now I can connect these things together one two three four five one two three four five I will stop the video here and do the rest off screen so here is the last one I have selected the edges and now can just bridge them together drop the tool now this is what we have nicely connected I select now the top and the bottom hit the P key to create the polygon go to polygon mode and use one of uh, Seneca Menar's scripts it's called perfect circle by the way I will include the URL where you can get these scripts they are fantastic Seneca is really the world champion of modo scripting so I need to rotate this a bit maybe so yes good now I can hit the B key bevel this in just a bit shift click bevel it in again a bit more shift click a bit more drop the tool right click and bridge them together perspective yeah good now I can add some edges in here Alt C and I would like to bring this up a bit here hit the L key this one as well L key then X for polygon extrude bring this up like so now I need a couple of other edges I can delete these two and go to the edge at loop shift click here and we need two in here alt c and I think I need one in here I make it 95% then I need another one down there shift click make it 5% and here it is our finished propeller of a boat I will leave this one on for a while as usual so I can select it up as the thumbnail I would like to thank you very much for watching take care and have fun modeling with Modo see you some other time bye bye